This time it's part one of our Laverda project. Let's talk about projects. Over the years we've done a number of projects with, to be fair, quite varying results. Some have gone really well, some not so much. But it's been a long time since we did a project and I think it's about time we started one. So with that in mind, I made a bit of an impulse buy and purchased myself a rolling chassis from a Laverda 125 from 1979. The chassis hasn't got any engine, hasn't got any electrics and there's quite a few other bits missing. So I've taken the fairly obvious step, or what I think is the easiest step, the easiest way of doing this, and I've found essentially a donor motorcycle, and that's a Honda, similar capacity, similar age, and we're going to combine the two bikes to hopefully create something new. Now you could be saying, well we're mashing up and ruined two bikes, but the two bikes were already ruined anyway. So uh, what we're really doing is breathing new life into some old parts, hopefully. Now, this isn't going to be one of those biker build-off things, you know, where we've got 24 hours to fur the whole thing together. This is not that at all. This is going to take several months and it's going to be a learning process, for, particularly for me and Tom. We don't necessarily have a lot of the requisite skills. Hopefully we might have to acquire a few of them to get this whole project to work. So the first thing we have to do is get the bikes home in the car. This involved taking them to pieces on site with tools and chucking the bits in the car. Because we don't have a van, we don't have anything like that, we're not a business. We finally got them home and the first part of the plan obviously is going to be strip the donor bike of all its parts, any useful parts. I'm going to take out the engine, obviously, and drop that out first. And the carb, all the cables, anything that's useful will refurbish and reuse. The wiring limb we're going to take out, because it's got a lot of useful parts in it, obviously. And the wiring itself may be shot, but we can at least use it as a template if we're going to build our own wiring loom. But we'll see what it's like when we get it out. Once we've killed all the spiders and scuttled them off, because the thing is alive. With the wiring all successfully removed, we turned attention to the metalwork. We removed the yoke, or the triple trees as the Americans like to call it. A lot of the bearings all came out, a lot of the plastic wear and things like that. Then I turned my attention to the frame itself, and off camera got a cutting disc and cut out all the engine mounts. Should be able to use those as a template to create new engine mounts for the new frame. With the Honda frame now finished with, I turned my attention to the new Laverda frame. I wanted to get the back wheel in so I could check alignment and that would tell me then how to position the uh, engine in the frame to line the chain up where the back sprocket. Of course, everything was pretty rusted up so I've had to give everything a really good clean and wire brush to get the spindle ready to take the wheel. This was followed up with yet more work trying to get rid of all the rust on the frame itself to allow us to pass the spindle through. With this done, I was then able to insert the spindle and in fact fit the wheel into the frame. Now the bearings are gone on the wheel, they're going to have to be replaced, but for the moment that doesn't matter, I just need enough so I can check out wheel alignment. And finally, for the first part of the build, I take some time and get the back wheel centred up in the frame. This will then give me alignment for the rear sprocket. And with the rear sprocket incorrectly, I can then fit the engine and line it up accordingly. But that's for another time. I'm exhausted and it's far too hot to carry on doing this. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the first part of our build video. Obviously there are going to be several more parts. This is something that's going to take several months, so keep a lookout for those. If you are interested, then please like and subscribe for more content. And of course, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.